Mm -mm. Welcome back to Krat. Ugh, we have relaxed after that. I have some red potion to fill up my heart containers. Um, <laughs> I have an unofficial Zelda cookbook, and one of the things that she made was a, a, a drink section, and one of them is a red potion. It's it's um, ginger ale, grenadine, and and uh, trace minerals, but it's quite tasty. Mm. Uh, very refreshing. Let's go uh, into this place that's probably going to be awful. Because, <laughs> you know, when don't we go into places that are awful, you know? It's just... Ooh. That's a, that's a look. That is... This is a... That's a fucking door, man. Jesus. Oh, we put our weapon away? Are we just going to go boss fight to boss fight? What the fuck? Oh, it's Sophia! Wow, she... What does that represent? Gross. She's not a puppet, is she? Oh, she doesn't look nearly as gross as I thought she would. Uh, I mean, from the chest up. Save me. Oh, God. It hurts so much. There's so many butterflies. talking about it's not a call at all give her peace thank you i was trapped for so long so how is that that's not a choice what kind of monster says let her live take my ergo i will be with you to the very end so what is this blue that's like the, the, the evolution goo, right? That they use? Do, do I have acne? Oh, I stabbed her with my hookshot. What do the butterflies represent? Why are they everywhere? So the blue is the alchemists are evolving. Oh. Oh, now I'm an old man. They took my glasses, not my glasses. I'm I'm a baby-faced old man. Oh, that's what I'm gonna be like when I oh. Your heart is pounding? What? Your heart? I have a heart? Shadow flower, I think of you while waiting in the rain. Take me away as I something or other. Oh, I almost want to run back and listen to that right now. Her true power was the ability to move time. Oh yeah, they said, uh, I think Arlecchino said that she had the ability to manipulate time or something like that. My blue fairy. Dude, I'm, I'm, I gotta change my outfit. This doesn't fit anymore. It doesn't, it does it doesn't work. We need, we need to get a, we need to get a new outfit. Mm. 
Maybe. Maybe. It's definitely closer. It's closer. Ooh. Oh, I look like... I look like the old cobbler who's like ready for a rumble outside of his establishment. This is a family establishment, boys. You better piss off. Maybe we take the cool guy glasses off? No, 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 no. Let's not, <laughs> let's not, let's not be ridiculous. Um, maybe we'll go top hat. <laughs> That's too much. <laughs> That's too much. That's way too much top hat. <laughs> mm, the white lady's mask, sure. Oh, we could do the white lady's mask and the white lady's outfit. Maybe that fits. Oh, I look stunning. Hell yeah, we're gonna listen to that record. That is 100% what I want to do right now. It's the only thing that I want to do right now. Je m'en 
My heart is pounding. Mmm. What a beautiful song. The Shadow Flower. I like that a lot. There's not been a lot of songs that I've got. This is too bright. I'm not I'm not a fan. I, I've made a costume that I don't like. Um, but I don't want to cover up my face neither. You know? I don't want to do that. So it, it really just comes down to finding a good... I think this fits. Kind of like this. It, it works well with the arm too. I'm going to go with this. This looks good. I like it. Fits the aesthetic. It doesn't make me sad. <laughs> My heart is pounding. Let us ascension. Not what I was expecting to be beyond that door. But at the exact same time, I knew that Sophia was in, in the tower. So I, I knew she was going to be somewhere, but I didn't expect her to be kind of in pieces. If, if that can be the way that I described it. Because that the blue is definitely the uh, the like what was eating away at her was definitely like the formula that they squ been squirting into people, right? So how did that make her slough off like that? Oh, good, a half moonstone. Well, as long as we've got food and wine, I think we're gonna be just. Fine. We did do the right thing, didn't we? This is wee shit. You. you got a cricket in your pocket? Let's keep going. Of course, we did the right thing. It. <sighs> yeah, there's a lot of moral questions in this, obviously, where. You know, it's, it's kind of unclear as to whether or not we did the right thing, but that was not one of them. I just realized he's not one of, like, the cane guys. I'm not really sure <laughs> what he does. What is down here? Oh, that's death. I'm hearing sounds. Oh! Speaking of the cane guys. Oh, okay. He said no. He, he said no. And I have to respect that. Oh my god. That's quite a big range. Okay. Okay, I guess that guy just, he's just going to go do his own thing. Ah! Ah! Oh, I missed. Oh my god. Jesus. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I hate this guy. Oh, I hate him a lot. Fuck. Why was that so hard? Another guy just bricked up in, in a building. Whoa. Oh, we're up here now. Sometimes these enemies, man, with their, their fucking movement patterns and the way that they do things, it just, it escapes my brain and I can't deal with it. I'm not sure if anybody else has problems like that. Where it just seems like it's like, why are you struggling with this? You know, like, this is so basic. Stop struggling with this. 
Like, he wasn't moving fast or doing anything very... Like, he wasn't moving fast or doing anything particularly strange. It was just like... I don't know, my brain just wasn't ready to deal with it. The upper part inside, of course, of course. Before we were on the upper part outside, now we're on the inside. <laughs> I know that they have to distinguish different parts of the map, but just sometimes I'm like, oh. <laughs> Gross. A lot of dead bodies everywhere. Not a fan. Like, I don't know. Movements like this. They're just so strange. Why did that break me? Like just there's just something about those movements. Am I am is it just me? Am I tired? What's the, like what <laughs> There's just something about those movements where it's like they wibble their entire fucking body and then all of a sudden in an instant their sword is in my face. Why bother learning patterns when I can just out damage it? Ooh! A quartz. Just randomly in a box. Why not? Really? I just, I just hate the attack pattern. Like a lot. And they're every single enemy. Fuck it, we got puppet strings. Are here and I want to go here and if my husband doesn't take me there I'm going to be mighty miffed mm -hmm, mm -hmm. suicides yep yeah, yeah, yeah. okay okay Ooh. Ooh, can I just run or walk over here? Okay, so we're gonna have to do some weird shit. This doesn't seem, like this seems like there's more to it than what I'm seeing. Like that room seemed a bit too large, a bit too open. Oh no. Thank <laughs> you. 
Fuck. No! Come on. The fucking hole. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, this section of the game. Oh, you know, I was like, oh, we're past the boss. It'll be better. No. It's just really irritating wall to wall from now on. Piece of shit. Just randomly bullshit ass hard enemies. Fuck's sake, man. Oof. I half expected to, them to send one of those fucking lightning staff fuckers at me on those stairs. Ooh, old man with a gun. Always fun. Just a shovel randomly. That's how you do that. Oh, that's... Jesus. I'm seeing dead bodies of conquered foes. And oh shit! Uh, Fucking god assholery. I'm dying for a shortcut in this fucking place. I'm getting better at fighting the repairmen, but Jesus. Oh, yay. Oh, right. Yes. Right where I want it. In the Mebethole. Thank you. Now, we might have to fight one enemy that will respawn. But, you know, who gives it? Who gives the heckin' donk? All right, now up the stairs. Let's see what chicanery we've got in store for us up here. I don't like that. <gasps> Is that the red fox? I have bad news At about your brother. First, it was money. There was no way out of this dump other than buying your way out. Sure, yeah. Later, when his sight started failing, all we had was swallowed up by the first few treatments. He was going totally blind. But now, the fruit is useless. I swear on my life as a stalker that your father is safe. My employer promised not to harm him. Oh, did he not pinky swear? Did he super secret swear? Now. But I wanted to set the record straight before, you know, revenge is all I have left now. Oh, yeah? How's that gonna go for you? But it's gonna go a lot like you how it went for your brother. Come on. Ow. Let me buff first. Jesus. Alright, now let's go. I don't know who that is. We're going to see how durable your sword is, though. <laughs> I thought maybe we could be friends. Yeah, you keep you and your brother keep saying that Ooh, maybe we could be friends. Ugh, you guys did this. Okay.
Well, it's more durable than his spear was. Oh! There it goes. <laughs> she ain't got the range now. Okay. I'm just gonna eat it. <laughs> oh shit, maybe not. Ooh, the red fox max. I suppose we villains never get to choose. Well, that's what you get for picking the side of the villain. I mean, it's pretty obvious who's the good guy here. Uh, that would be the main character man standing over here. That's me. Red fox mask. Does look cool. I love the colors. Very herbosa. But I got some fancy gray hair now. I can't be... Can't be putting that under a bushel, a bushel basket. Huh. Ooh. Is that Yepeto? It is Yepeto. Are you happy to see me, father? It saddens me to see my precious son in a place like this well i it... wanted you to grow up as a good boy in a peaceful world and yet i think all i've taught you is blood and violence this will be the last time i ask i promise simon has gone completely mad he's trying to become a god by using a tremendous amount of ergo. I don't know what kind of world he wants to build. Perhaps there's no stopping him. I trust you, my son. And I'm ready for any outcome. But I don't know what you think of me. Speak truthfully, for my sake. Was I a trustworthy father to you? Yeah. I think so. Right? They tried to, like, turn us against him, but it was our Danelico or whatever his name was. Yeah. I see. I have the courage to carry on because of you. They, an end to it all. I remember that. In the middle, they were, like, they were like, they were like, oh, I was totally son. Geppetto. I don't remember think so. Remember the happy family we once were. We can become that again. I believe in Harvey Dent. Arch Abbey passageway key? Put an end to it all, son. You're all I have. Ooh, you're in a combat zone. I could totally kill you if I wanted to. I have this very nice spear. There we go. Is this, are we, are we gonna go kill Simon? Is this the end? My heart is pounding. I'm in my rabble rouser outfit. <laughs> Ooh. Hey! Oh! Mm hmm. Yep. Gotta grab. Gotta get those sharp pipes at the end of the game. That's the only. Uh, it's the only thing that makes sense. <laughs> there actually is something that I wanted to try. So, <clears throat> one of the uh, weapons that I've been working on, obviously, is the uh, this thing, the acidic spear. Um, this is one eighty six. And this is 114 and 102. Uh, it doesn't have any innate crit. Charges the pulse cells a bit faster. It has a better fable charge. And it has a way better guard. Uh, it greatly increases acid attack temporarily. Um, so I've been finding myself not using the crit hit chance a whole lot. Um... And I was thinking about using this. 
so that even if I forget to use it, like, mid-battle, like, mid-boss fight, I still have, like, acid damage that I'm applying to them. Maybe it'll build up and do some more dot damage. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering about that. So I wanted to try that. Out with this. Weapon! Assemble! Ooh, it looks neat. How does it fight? It's the same. Okay. So it is a it is the same. It's a dagger. Um, I think it might be a little bit heavier than the other handle or than the other one. And obviously it now takes two in order to do the uh the thing. But oh. Oh, is this a skill challenge? Huh. I just hit a save point, boy. Oh, I'm not afraid of anything. <laughs> Ooh, the assassin's amulet. What does that do? Increases critical attack. Um, does that mean increases damage dealt by crits? If so, I might have to put my old spear back together. Okay. So I just looked it up because uh, there's a lot of vague stuff in this game. And I've been... Uh, if, it, if I can't find it anywhere in the game and it's just like a simple thing, it, that increases crit chance. Not critical damage. Ow. Oh my god. Okay. I, I guess she just wanted to stand there. She she used all her energy in the first attack. Hello. Damn it. So it is, it feels like it's slightly slower. And obviously I'm not randomly critting sometimes. Um, maybe with the assassin's amulet, I wonder how much, ooh! I hate this game, but I can't target him. Oh, that's frustrating. So how do I, how do I live without you? I bait him out. Yep, there you go. Okay. All right, sir. What did I do that for? <laughs> that is really fun. If you can catch him in between their attacks. Okay. Now I get the shinies. Wouldn't it be funny if there was another thing like waiting to just drop in and be a jerk? Oh my gosh. Is that the thing that I just replaced? Golly gee willikers, it sure is. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, I need another amulet slot. Can I have another amulet slot, please? Please. Um. Here we go. Oh, it's not showing me how much it'll change. So we've got 598, 293, 180. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with that over the um, slight increase in the other two gauges. That extra stam is good. Stamina issues are the main thing in Souls games. Do I have a voice now? Another question. Did I always have a voice? Am I just now noticing that I had a voice? Or is that a new thing because I'm human?
Hello. That's how you stab. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Wow. Is that the hotel? Oh my God. That's incredible. Look at that. Oh, you can see where the walls are. Oh man. So cool. Sometimes, sometimes draw distance and, um, sometimes draw distance and, uh, oh, but that's, oh, I'll have to drop down to get that. Um, sometimes draw distance in graphics, pretty cool, you know, sometimes they're pretty cool. I definitely don't want to say all the time because I don't think that, but moments like that. When you when you just get like a, an absolute eyeful of of how awesome it can be, oh my gosh! Actually, I don't know if we're gonna be back here. We th that definitely looks like a final-ish area, so we're gonna go ahead and crank that up, crank it up. I don't know how much I need for a level. We're gonna try and get two levels. There you go. We got that life back that we took away. <laughs> oh, I didn't even need to pop those ergo. is a mountain of dead puppets it seems and other things all these spiral staircases I, I'm like half expecting mind flares from demon souls <laughs> oh shit oh is he a barfy boy now ah Oh, he's a disruption man. Oh, that hurt. Oh, what the fuck? Yo. Oh, that's my lantern. Yep. Hi. Oh my god. Dude, this is nuts. Ow. And the kick? No? Okay. What the fuck? Oh my god, he just sucked Ergo out of me. My God. Jesus. What a pain in the ass for a quartz though. Jesus, that thing was a, just a massive asshole. I will say this. 
Um, I have not. Go there are, there have been, obviously, a lot of enemies that have annoyed the absolute living shit out of me in this game. However, I have at no point in playing this video game have gotten bored of the enemy variety at all. God. Like there's some enemies that use similar attacks. There's some enemies that look similar, but there have just been such a massive variety of enemies in this game. It, it's bananas. with a gun. Thank God he gave away his position like a fuel. Creepy. So said Peace Trees 3. I, Adriana, recorded from the brothers and sisters, praise Pistris, the one in who shall swallow even God. Listen, my brothers and sisters, I, Pistris, shall tell you about the true eternal life. An angel's gift was something humans dare not enjoy. Many humans died with hope in their hearts. And the ones who lived harbored rage instead of death. Eventually, humans destroyed and burned their hope on their own. That is how the angel became the god torn to death. But today, there are definitely those who survived with the blessing. They, the immortal ones, still walk around and wish for the resurrection of God. God! I clearly told the truth I witnessed. Now you shall all follow this path. All right, if you say so, Pistris. Ooh. A vivid ergo crit. That's like 20,000 souls. I mean, ergo. Oh, another save point. Oh my. Oh my. Ooh, are we? Oh. <laughs> let's let's do this first. All right, let's see. I don't know why this makes me think of Warframe. Simon Manus's confession. A father is like a god to his son. Oops. Didn't open it in time. A father is like god to his son. Even I, Simon, was no different in my youth. But... The one who created me was no normal human, and my abilities were extraordinary. You're a failure too, the ability to read minds. Being... You're a failure too, the ability to read minds. Being abandoned in front of God meant the world's destruction. From then on, my life existed to make the, a world without lies. A world where no one betrays you and there's only truth, even if it's forced. 
Now the finale is here. Once the door is open, it can't be closed. For I, for humankind, I, Simon, gave up being human and decided to walk the path of immortality and the truth. My body will be broken and reformed as the god that was torn apart. I shall I leave this record in my last moments as a human. Simon Pistersmanus. All right, we're about to go punch Simon Pistris Manus in the face. Wait, how many courses do I have? Actually, yeah, we're gonna go. Uh, quick cut. Whoa. Okay, here we are in the cradle of the gods. Ooh, there's our summoning powder. See what the fight's like before I determine whether or not I'm going to use it on the last fight. This is a crazy arena. What's under the tarp? <coughs> There's no way that's him. Oh, buddy. He thought he'd become a god. This happened in Devil May Cry, too. Oh, Devil May Cry 3, but you get my point. Oh, he quasi-moto. Ew, his bone sticking out! This is Ergo. <laughs> is it not magnificent? Oh, so you're happy with what's going on right now? Distilled immortality and a key that opens a world with no lies. A key that unlocks true evolution. How's that going for you? You skipped leg day and left arm day. If thanks. There goes a gift from me. Simon Manus, who will transgress even God. Bow down to your God, who will be born now. This is so silly. Show me everything you have. Up and up your Arm of God. Oh. Out. Oh, Jesus. Just constantly attacking. What's he doing? <laughs> Alright, phase two. That was beyond simple. Just a very constant flow of I will say, very simple, much more well designed this than the previous fight. Is evolution. Behold, as I discard this fragile body. Ooh. Witness me as I grow. 
grasp the power of a true god. Not at all what I was expecting to be under there. He's like a uh, Hanami. Whoa. Oh, he was like a, a cocoon, and now he's going to be a beautiful butterfly. Yo, that's fucked. Oh, it kind of. Oh, it's kind of like when uh, Ishin crawled out of Genichiro. Oh shit. Oh no, we're in dude's uh domain expansion. What the fuck is happening? Oh, Adam just touched God. Oh, is he still a part of that body? Oh, okay. Not what I was expecting. Oh! Oh my God. Oh. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my god, a disruption? Are you kidding me? You have to fight against disruption too? Oh my god. Oh my god, this is gonna be one of those fights. This is gonna be one of those fights. See, the first phase of it, it's, it's well designed because the attacks make sense, they're decently well telegraphed, and if you're paying attention, you can eventually learn it and, and do it. I don't like these fights where shit is so incongruous with itself, where in order to beat it, you have to have fought the fight several times. Do you know what I mean? In my opinion, it's not a well-designed thing if in the only way to beat it is you have to have done it before.